Rebecca, this is cool. You have, so you're excited. standing by the Star Lab. I was, yes. And we are in front of the planetarium here where you can go inside and you get a, a look at what the sky looks like in the It is so, I got a short show. So I didn't have to, it is so cool. It I'll let you incredible. tell about it. Thank you. I'm joined with, here with Heidi Haney. Who, she brought the, the Star Lab with her today. Tell us, what exactly can you do while you're inside? Um, the program has a number of simulations. We are specifically looking at eclipses because of the solar eclipse coming up. Um, we're looking at what the sky will look like all day on Monday. We're looking at other videos of other total eclipses and how it will not just look when you look at it, but how you will feel around if you go to totality. Here in Cedar Rapids, we'll have about 86% covered, so it'll look like a giant cookie bite. Uh, we also travel to the moon in today's simulation. We're here until 510 with the last show for the planetarium, so if you're in Benton County, come on over. It's not too late. And... Um, Look for me on the Curiosity Path and find out how we can bring this to groups all around the area. Now tell me, how special is this to bring this uh, the planetarium to kids who might not get to see this type of, these, these science experiments every single day? Oh, it's just a joy. You can talk about it, but to actually see it and feel it, the moon simulation seems to be everyone's favorite because it just looks like the moon comes on the screen and lands on your head. And that's one of the, you just feel it, it's a lot like an IMAX situation where it's all around you and we can pick dates we can go look at certain times we can look at um, what we don't get today is we get we we've done sunrise on Mars we get to look at all the moons of Saturn it's a wonderful program and I can tailor it to all different sorts of situations you just have to have a tall ceiling. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to say, we saw the moon. You kind of gave me a, a little bit of the simulation mm -hmm. earlier. We saw the moon coming in, and you, we were talked about how you can get a little bit motion sick in there. What is the science behind that? You are explaining it a little bit to us earlier. Yeah. So your brain has like a core programming that you can't change, the part that says blink, breathe, swallow, digest. And part of that is if your eyes say, I'm flying through space and your bottom says I'm sitting in the gym at Benton Community. Some people are fine with that, but some brains go into total protection mode and they will say, this is horrendous. Maybe I've been poisoned, I'd better throw up just in case. And that's why some people say they have to sit by a window in a car or they have to be in the front seat because they have to convince their brain, I feel like I'm moving because I'm moving. And if they can't see the motion, they will feel queasy. And we don't want anyone to get sick. So if they say I have to be by the window, that's why. Right. And I know when I was in there, I was feeling a little bit of motion sickness, but you just sit down and it's all good. But some people love that. If it's a roller coaster feeling, it just, everything your eyes can see says I am moving. Like the, like the feeling when you just park the car and the car next to you goes backwards, it feels like you're going forward, which is a very disconcerting feeling. It's much like that. A lot of great science here. Thank you for joining us, Heidi. We're going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Rebecca. It sounds like so much fun out there. Please enjoy yourself.